Hey Klaus, I just put together a quick video for you to show you how to use the metric system and convert from one unit to another really quickly and easily. Uh, the method is called the ladder method. And so it allows you to jump along the ladder from one unit to another. And it uses the metric system's prefixes uh, shown right here. So we've got kilo, hecto, deca, the base unit, deci, centi, and milli. Um, so you've seen these before, and we have our little mnemonic device, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, uh, to help you remember those. And if you can write them out, then you're going to be able to use this method really quickly to be able to convert from one unit to another. So basically, here is my technique. And it's not really my technique. A lot of people use this. First step is you want to just write out the number that you're going to be trying to convert, including the decimal point because when you convert in metric, all you do is you move the decimal point. So all you need to figure out is how far to move it and whether you're moving it to the left or to the right. And with that simple thing, you'll be able to convert from any one unit to any other one. So you first write it out with the decimal point. So I'm gonna write out, in this case, 1500.0. And I've got my decimal point in there. We have to identify the starting unit and the ending unit and I'm converting from milliliters to regular liters so milli to the base so I've identified the units and now I need to count the number of steps that I'm going to move left or right so if I go from milli to the base I jump one two three steps to the left and I'm going to move that the decimal point that many steps and in that direction so watch, my decimal point is right here, and I'm going to move it one, two, three. And I'm going to put that decimal point in its new spot. And now I have, instead of 1,500 milliliters, I have 1.5 liters. It is that simple in the metric system. So 1,500 milliliters is equal to 1.5 liters. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so I'm starting with 1.34 kilograms, and I'm converting this into grams. So I wrote out the number with the decimal point. I'm going to identify the starting unit and the ending unit. So the starting unit is kilograms. Kilo is right over here. And the ending unit is grams. That is our base. So now I need to count how many steps and whether I'm moving left or right. So kilo, one, two, three three jumps to the right. So here's our decimal point, and I need to jump it three times to the right. So watch, here's one jump, two jumps, I need to add a zero. So one jump, two jumps, three jumps. Plot my decimal point in there, and I'm going to delete the other one. So this is now, instead of 1.34 kilograms, I now have 1,340 grams. And I just put that decimal point in the, air there, in the end so that you can see what I'm talking about here. And I'm gonna put my answer up here, 1,340 grams. Okay, let's try another one. So I'm going to convert from 153 centimeters and I'm gonna to go to kilometers. So step one, I'm gonna write out uh, with the decimal point. So I'm going to write 153.0. Now I'm going to identify the starting unit and the ending unit. So I'm going from centimeters to kilometers. So I find it here. And I'm going to count the number of steps. I'm going centi, one, two, three, four, five jumps to kilo. And I jumped to the left. So I have to jump this five jumps to the left. So here it is, ready? One, two, three, four, five jumps. And just double check, here's where it was. One, two, three, four, five jumps. That was a lot of jumps. So now I am left with 0 0.0153 kilometers. That's a really small number. 0 0.00153 kilometers. 
And that's our final answer. Okay, let's try another one. You're getting the hang of this. This will be our last one. Okay, so we are going to go from 6.84 milligrams, and we're going to convert that into grams. So first thing, write out the number with the decimal point. So I'm going to write 6.84. Let's make that nice and big so that you can see. Yeah, I'm going to go even bigger than that. 6.84. And now I'm going to identify the starting unit, milligrams, and the ending unit, grams. So I'm going from milli to the base. Now I need to count the number of steps. I go one, two, three steps. Do it again. One, two, three steps. So I move it three steps, and I am going to the left. So I take this decimal point, and now I'm going to have to move it three jumps to the left. So here's one jump, <laughs> two jumps, three jumps. And I'm going to make that nice and big so that everything is the same size there. There. And let's double check that I actually moved to three jumps. Here's where it was. One, two, three jumps. Get rid of the original one. I'll put a G on that. Okay, right, so now our final answer. We went from 6.84 milligrams to 0. 00684 grams. And that's our final answer. This is how you convert using the ladder method. And you can use it, um, you know, you could continue using this method of converting for as long as you want because it just works. It's, uh, it's really fast, it's really easy to be able to convert uh, until you can start doing these in your head. So that is all class. I hope you enjoyed it.